My client is Cindy and her family. We're relocating them from North Toronto into a little bit more centralized. When Cindy and I first talked about this property, she had this vision of a very simple Scandinavian style home. I was into it, I loved it. The minimalist look, every piece had a purpose or a dual purpose. The architect, Liam Moore, had this vision of this grand home, but it didn't feel grand. It's a large space, but it feels comfortable and cozy and approachable, which I absolutely fell in love with. The exterior and the large windows with the black uh, has a little bit of a Parisian feel to it. So I felt going completely minimalist in the aesthetic was wrong, but we could go simple. We just needed to really amplify all these beautiful sight lines that Liam Moore created. I'm all about first impressions. So when you enter the home, I wanted that foyer to be wow. And it is, I mean, we splurged on that tile. Oh, it's impactful. It's, it's a classic color wave, you know, with the black and the gray and the white. And then of course we have the accents of the gold and then that beautiful bench that was custom made. I mean, I think the foyer is just beautiful. Off the foyer, we have a gorgeous office. So when you're sitting in the office, you have all this sunlight pouring in. We needed to cover the windows with some beautiful drapery, which I got from Threadcount and I loved it. It was simple and from the exterior, it looks beautiful and you have that privacy. But again, the natural light is still pouring in. Custom bookcases on either side. And again, function want to showcase some of our beautiful books but we need to have storage for files and whatnot so that was all custom built i love the double-sided fireplace again it's multifunctional, so you kind of go back to that scandinavian inspired design where everything has a purpose so having that double-sided fireplace in the office and the living room i think it's just brilliant going into the living room i mean that feature wall it was such a splurge, you know, we wanted it to be impactful and I think that was the biggest goal in this property is that every time you turn a corner, you're wowed. You're like, oh, that was so unexpected, you know, but it's beautiful and it's all the same color palette and same color wave, so it's not really in your face. And then of course you want to add a pop of color, so going with the velvet green sofa and those beautiful chairs from Studio B. That Nice black and white coffee table from LT. And of course we did the graphic sheer pattern on the windows because the windows span the entire length of the room. The living room and the dining room are married in the same space. And so we need to connect the spaces. Everyone hangs out in the kitchen and the family room. So the entire back of this house is kitchen, family room, and eat-in kitchen. And I think that's where they spend 90% of their time. An oversized custom sectional sofa that's so comfortable. You can crash in it all day. Of course, another beautiful fireplace that we did a custom mantle. Then you have the beautiful herringbone brick inside. The fireplace is anchored by two beautiful custom built-ins that have the windows on top. And we were able to fill all of the openings with some birch wood, which again adds some natural element, a nice texture to it. I love the kitchen so much. It's my absolute favorite part of the house. I mean, I always find the kitchen is the heart of the home. Cindy loves to cook. You know, she has four kids, so we want to make sure that everyone has space in there to cook together. So we did a nice big oversized island with a different countertop. I love doing two-tone cabinets in a kitchen. I think it really helps add dimension and interest, you know, so doing the wood and then the white with a different profile and then the gold hardware, countertops, backsplash and hood all being used in the same marble. But because there's a gorgeous soft veining, again, I think it just brings you back to that European feel. Cindy has a lot of beautiful glassware and fine china that we wanted to showcase. So doing a little bit of a butler's pantry was essential. You know, everything's lit up with glass. It's very dramatic. You know, it's right to the ceiling. The breakfast nook was essential. Sometimes you just want to sit and have breakfast at the table. And we had the opportunity to carve out a little bit of a niche there have floor to ceiling windows, have floor to ceiling drapery. Cindy had a gorgeous table that she loved, so we refinished it, we got new chairs, have the black and white and the gold again, which is repeated in the ceiling fixture.
ultimately the house is used all the time really which i love you know we wanted to make sure that every square inch was done right and it was approachable and it was luxurious but it wasn't too precious so you didn't feel like you couldn't sit on the green velvet sofa or the dining room chairs everything is really put together for a family to use it and enjoy it